All right, we're back. I got the toolbox out here in the garage now, and I got the WRX pulled in the garage for the day. I had to roll the uh, Z28 last night uh, into the driveway, which is not the easiest thing to do. Uh, but now we got the WRX back here. First thing I'm gonna do is try to change the spoiler out uh, today, and then uh, we'll see how much time I've got left for the, the day to be able to do some other, other mods that we got. Uh, again, there's no instructions here, so I actually have no idea what we're gonna look at when we open this up, so we'll find out. All right, so popping the trunk here, it looks like we just got a handful of these little fasteners here. We need to pop out and then uh, should be able to pull this down pretty easy. And then uh, from my understanding, there's just a couple of bolts holding it on and uh, we'll go from there. All right, and then looking up in here, it looks like there is one bolt on the right side, got one on the left side, and then a couple of just little. pieces in there to uh, pop out. So should be simple enough. We'll grab the tools and start taking them out. All right, so I checked out and it's a uh, eight millimeter. So I'm just using an extension. They've already got a convenient hole uh, drilled here for access to those screws. It's a pretty short screw, easy enough to take out. Trying to figure out the easiest way to get these uh, to pop out. I don't have a really good tool to get to that. Okay, so my wife actually came out to talk to me for a second. So I went off the uh, camera for a second and uh, accidentally figured out how to get this off. Uh, so now that that's all unsecured, I'm gonna pull the trunk closed. They're actually, all you have to do is just fairly aggressively pull the entire spoiler, pops off, and then it's not two. There's actually two more that I didn't see in the corner there. Uh, so there's four total, and these are a little bit different than what I'm used to, and they don't actually pop off with like by pinching them. You just have to pull uh, the pressure against them, and then it popped right out. Uh, so they're just a little bit different than what I'm used to. Probably just newer design, newer car. I'm used to working on old cars, so uh, learning experience for me. But now you've got the stock spoiler off and we'll go get the next one. All right, sweet. so we're back, uh, trunk's closed. Just gotta clean up some of the grime and dirt that was on the uh, car uh, from underneath the spoiler before we throw on the new one. And then I've got the OLM carbon fiber uh, low profile, uh, but I think it's gonna look pretty good. And I'll show a comparison before we throw it on uh, once I clean the car off. All right, cool. So I've got the uh, OLM low profile carbon fiber. I didn't want an obnoxious wing or anything like that. Like I said, this car is supposed to be a daily driver. I just want to do a couple of things aesthetically pleasing and just a couple of things to make it a little bit nicer for every day. Um, so this was the aesthetically pleasing thing that I did first. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and test fit it here real quick and then we'll uh, pull it back off and put all the 3M and everything on it before we actually fully secure it. All right, so this is just a test fit right now. But personally, I think this looks so much better than the factory. All right, so on the corner here, uh, since I didn't have any instructions and I didn't watch any other videos, uh, in my mind this made the most sense, just stick a little bit right there. And I'm just gonna run my finger just nice and stiff along the whole lip here. Make sure the 3M is fully secured.
And then uh, we're ready to install it. All right, so I'm really impressed with the overall fitment. <clears throat> the only thing that's a little strange to me is that uh, right here at the corner, there's a pretty significant gap on the side. So uh, it's not perfectly molded, but overall it looks really nice, uh, even though it's fully installed now uh, with those minor fitment changes. But on the back side here, the back lip is really smooth. I don't have any issues with that. And again, just the same thing on this side. You can see the light up through where it's not quite seated and I can't even get it to push down enough to be seated. Um, but on the top, nice and smooth. Again, overall the fitment is really good. It's just these corner edges are a little interesting. Um, so nothing to worry about in my mind. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. But uh, we'll just get the rest of the interior of the trunk put back in and should be good.